English translation, 94th contact. Saturday, 3rd December, 1977, 1301 A. I only come to bring you the data for the center, Sohar, so only for a short time. Do not worry, I will not keep you long, because you have your monthly group meeting in one hour. Then I write down the data quickly, so that I can inform the core group members about it. So I already have paper and pens here. Then I want to tell you the data, where I tell you in plus or minus. Internal time data. These are the final dates to be met by the 5th of February, 1978, after which the times will loosen as the first necessary power quanta are stored. That concludes my mission today. Greet all quite affectionately from me, and now goodbye, my dear friend. Thank you for everything. But please do not go yet, because I have another question for you. I just spoke to Hans, and he denies your explanations that he is the guilty one regarding the tiresome things with the footage. Could you perhaps give me more details? Sure, but then it should be enough. Certainly, because I am already sick and tired of that stupid stuff. Well, I will talk about it one last time, then I will not answer about it in the future. It is incomprehensible to me that you can create new problems out of it for so long. Well then, the notes very clearly show that Hans committed the erroneous act by passing on the film material. This fact remains in any case, even if he denies it. He was already fallible because he did not burn the half-destroyed material, as you had instructed him, but kept it. However, he also acted erroneously by not handing over the material to you because he did not follow your instructions, or by finally taking it under his firmest clasp in full compliance with his duties. The footage was clearly your property that he held in custody as a trustee, and therefore should not have disposed of in any wise. He was fully aware of this, but suppressed this fact by his pastime of betrayal and untruth, as a result, he passed on the material, or parts of it, and thereby made himself fallible. Even if he tries to conceal these facts with new untruths, the guilt remains with him. There is nothing to be done about it. He said that he would write Martin to prove that he was innocent. Sure, he will do that, and Martin will still be helpful to him in his untruth, because he will be of the erroneous assumption that he could harm you by it. He will not be able to do that. But he will be of this assumption, for his ways of achieving his goals are confused and therefore illogical. He has not given up yet? He is very resentful, jealous in certain measures, unteachable, and also confused. Then let him. But do you not think that Hans will still stand by his mistake? And do you not think that he should be helped, so to speak, with a last chance? You are simply unteachable and incorrigible. That he admits his mistake is very doubtful, and that you want to give him another chance is very unwise of you. But I want to try it anyway. You know, I thought maybe it would help him if he could go to the center to find himself. You are simply incorrigible, but I do not want to be against your will. If that is how you want it, he can go to the center on weekdays for a maximum of three hours, but he has to leave it at 18-1-E call R's at the latest. His vibrations will be completely absorbed, which I will arrange immediately after my return to the station with Quetzal, who is responsible for it. Sure, you offer him a very good opportunity to find himself and to overcome his constantly flowing problems, However, be aware that he will not be worth it for you and that you will give him another useless chance because he will hardly pay attention to it, which you will still find out today. You know a lot again. What do you want me to know? You will experience it in a few hours. You will realize that you are giving an unnecessary chance, one that will be trampled on again. Then so be it, but I simply have to try. You are an incorrigible optimist, and that is good, but in this case you are wasting your powers unnecessarily. That is all I have to say to you, and this topic should be finally over now. 
Goodbye, my friend. Okay, thank you very much, girl. Goodbye. Predictions for the year 1978 created, in order by Sim Yase, and written by Billy Friday, 9th December, 1977. Already the turn of the year 1977-1978 will be marked for mankind of the planet Terror. Evil events of human Ausartung, to get very badly out of the good human nature, will appear, such as bloodshed, enormous numbers of accidents, criminal acts of a special kind, and the beginnings of evil anarchistic acts of terror. But also nature will claim its victims, because enormous cold spells and hurricane-like storms from the north and the south will cost many human lives. All kinds of human buildings will be destroyed and demolished, and all kinds of animal and floristic life will also perish. The transition period to spring will not be as usual and as it has been for years, because in 1978 it will be connected with many uncontrollable natural events of immense proportions. Just as the winter will be hard and cold, the death due to the cold will grip the people of the earth and let them sink into the hard, frozen ground. A hot storm will blow from the south many times a year, announcing and pulling with it disaster and death as it never has before. But storms also bite from the north, bringing chilling cold and repeated destruction. Thus, it is given for the course of some months of the year 1978. Given are the destruction of seeds and harvests in several countries of the earth for the year 1978, whereby also some states get into financial distress over food purchases abroad. Next go the earthquakes of the earth, which will roll rampantly over the earth. Well-known earthquake areas will be shaken again in 1978, sometimes much worse than before. The trench of San Francisco will also tremble heavily, as will large areas in China, Japan and the Middle East. But also Europe, Asia, America, Australia, New Zealand and the whole areas of Oceania will not be spared, because even the heaviest storms and floods will claim bad damage and human lives. Several heavy and medium volcanic eruptions are foreseeable, including a respectable new formation of a volcano. Several oil catastrophes will be a topic of discussion in 1978, as will the fact that several more oil tankers will again pour their contents into the waters of the oceans, spoiling them. Also, it is given that a large oil haulier goes on fire and causes much misery. In the world of politics, Fear and terror will begin to rule, because through terrorism and anarchism, which the state itself is to blame for in many parts, fatalities will be sought and found among politicians. Not only will several assassinations of politicians be successful, but two state leaders will be killed by upheavals, as will religious figures whose hour is already in a violent end. Israel rises together with Arabia at the barricades in order to create an even more unsolvable problem between themselves, independently of each other, and yet together in their goals, while the leadership of Israel combines semi-officially with the leadership of the Vatican in order to thereby prepare the beginning of terror without recognizable end, although the life of the Israeli president is already hovering on the brink of death. If America announced the creation of a terrifying weapon in 1977, Russia is already creating much more disastrous things, which will be completed in 1978. A weapon that will be even more dangerous than that of the Americans, who were only able to come up with a neutron bomb. As in 1977, in 1978 world aviation will be hit very hard, more than ever before partly by failure of technical equipment and apparatus, partly by human failure and natural influences, and partly by anarchistic acts of terror, in which especially large aircraft are destroyed and which cost many human lives. A very serious underground political blow is being prepared against Germany, which the German government will hardly be able to control, but which will be the fault of the government itself if the evil event occurs. 
In 1978, the Swiss Army and Air Force will be marked by many accidents and losses, but also by several deaths, all of which will be paid into the accounts of the above military leaders, although the blame will usually be passed on to the subordinates. This will also be the case with several espionage cases discovered in 1978 in Switzerland, about which the Swiss government will make partial cover-up attempts as well as an outbreak of scandal in the government administration, since several changes of position of leading heads will take place. For the police all over the world, including Switzerland, the time of total hardship will begin and they will be more than ever stunned by criminality. Bestial murders, unprecedented in police history, will school the police officers in horror. Their state-controlled inadequacy will often condemn them to incompetence in the fight against crime. Not only evil happens in 1978, for it balances itself with the good, as is the case on every planet in the course of evolution. Thus, for example, the science of technology, electronics, medicine and surgery creates many new methods and possibilities for the better health of the human being but also for the liberation from organic and physical evils. A renowned scientist finally discovers very important basic elements in the fight of the hostage of cancer, but also to prevent it. It will also become known fundamentally worldwide that different methods of the, up to now, conventional cancer detection promoted this itself or even caused it itself which is why these past and very dangerous methods will be refrained from in the future. A new comet will appear in 1978, which will head from the vastness of space towards the SOL system, but which will not become dangerous for the Earth. In 1978, the science of astronomy will make a completely new discovery, which will give it new perspectives and ways of knowing the structure of the universe and all its celestial bodies. So also in chemistry, physics and technology as well as in electronics, unexpected new knowledge will appear through discoveries which will slowly but surely change the whole world view in the future. In addition to many governmental and political crises, the financial and industrial sectors will also suffer heavy losses, which means that new paths of government management, financial management and industrial management will have to be sought. Rome is in first place, and in 1978 is at the last end of bankruptcy. The religious sectarian fuss will increase strongly, whereby murder and blood crimes will also appear out of religious sectarian fanaticism. It is also becoming apparent that religious sectarian fanaticism will lead to the use of armed force. Evil warlike and revolutionary riots in different countries will lead to political crises in 1978. As in the years 1976 and 1977, Africa will make noise in the world, also in the year 1978, because there the atrocities will increase still more and shake the world. The number of suicides rises rapidly in 1978, as do mental illnesses, while various epidemics affect people's lives. These are the most important general predictions for the year 1978, calculated in combinatorial probability calculations, which have nothing to do with the so-called clairvoyance or a future view. As is the case with prophecy, it is also the case here that events of future form are subject to a change if the human beings come to their senses and thereby changes what is foreseeable. As a rule, however, earth humans do not strive for the best changes in a large part of their humanity, according to which the rule proves that the predictions must arrive in the form of combinatorial probability calculations. Further, other things are evolutionary, as well as universe-related, according to which they cannot be changed but can be redirected by some earthly or cosmic influence. The human being should always bear this in mind when thinking about the four made predictions, which are only part of what 1978 will bring.
Many more events are still in the offing, but to talk about them would probably be a waste of time, because the Earth human will not pay attention to them to a good extent. So it will also leave him or her cold, indifferent, that public transport, such as railways and bus companies, etc., along with shipping and aviation, are very endangered and will claim many human lives, and even the malicious will of criminals will be instrumental in this. And a great many people will be completely left out in the cold as to the fact that in 1978 a veritable wave of kidnappings will break out all over the world, which will also claim many victims. The clever ones will say that this would probably have been the case. Of course, it was and is foreseeable, but only if one makes an effort to do these things. But this is how these clever know-it-alls sink back into the sea of anonymity, because they do not make their claims, because they have actually foreseen the coming events, but only because they have read the predictions, or because they have been orientated to the occurrence of events. This kind of person only talks about predictions if they have usually already been put down in writing, or if they have already happened in reality. Only then do they have a big mouth and claim that they have already known all this in advance. In truth, however, they know nothing and wait until they have so-called evidence at their feet before talking about it, because they are too cowardly to be called fantasists and always fear for their good reputation. On the other hand, it is also much easier to say after an event has occurred that one had known this in advance, than to announce the events to come long before. Many superwise people rely on the stars and claim that they will bring this and that to the human beings of the earth in the current or coming year. But how can the human being decipher these coming events from the stars if he or she has long since lost the necessary knowledge about them? Knowing the fears and horrors of the earth human I cannot grant myself permission to give more details in the predictions, or even names, countries and places, if the events to be expected are of a devastating, destructive nature, or in the form that human sacrifices will have to be mourned. Under no circumstances will I answer questions about this, for I know too well the fears and horrors of the human being, and what could result from them.